We got 51 on it. About to be a year, yo. We had Garcia, DJ Laz, and Juice. We the best. I think the proof is in the pudding. You could tell because you watching. You already know that history makers clothes that I'm rocking. Yeah. Baby, don't blink, and you already know, my nigga, don't think, cause everything you looking at is right here. Yuli, we hey. just had ourselves a bright year. Hey. Yeah, we got 51 on it. Good. Yeah, we got 51 on it. Hey. Yeah, yo, we got 51 on it. About to be a year, yo. We got 51 on it. About to be a year, yo. We got 51 on it. About to be a year, yo. We got 51 on it. About to be a year, yo. We got 51 on it. About to be a year. Hey, hey, it said don't blink. Oh, we pimps, we're about to wear some minks. Uh, walk up the stairs and walk through the door. It's our guest at 52. Uh, I'm about to be a year around the sun for don't blink. So, half the but uh, hey, so we right here. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the best part about it, it was just like you were so confident, you know what I mean? Right, Even yeah, though shit yeah, was yeah, the, whatever yeah, it was, yeah, whatever yeah, it was, that's just confident. That's because the guest ain't here. You know, I fuck <laughs> it up when they walk in. <laughs> Sporting touch of hands. Round number one. There's the fast dunk, and that is the fastest dunk in Belgium. Hey, mama, no born in the Bronx, raised in Dade. Been in the city since Pitt had braids. But hop on these parties, but I know how to sneak me out. Now with seven figure meetings every day, we need a house. It's game time, the game's mine, you know the vibe. Yo, yeah, how a moon and that'll rep in 305. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Don't Blink Podcast. Yes. You know I got the kid in the building. Oh, you know we in here. Yes, sir. And I'm sporting, look. Really, my, my thing been growing. Yeah, bro. yeah, we yeah. Got, we watering. You said it. you got the side stash, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Today we got Mario Ramil in the building. Bro. Yes. What's up, baby? What up, yes. What's, What's up, up bro? guys? Yo, thanks for having me. No, no, no. Great Hold up. Hold up. There you go. Yo, he came in here like he's at the improv. Yo, what's up, guys? What's up? Yo, what's up? What's How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, right, no, I love it. He's got he's got like an old school Indian what tribal y'all, fucking you know jacket what I mean? on here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Pet Cemetery was buried in. <laughs> yeah, dude. Right. Raising spirits in this bitch. Dude, can you curse? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You whatever, whatever you want. You want. Right. Except do cartwheels because obviously like the crowd, you know what I'm saying? So we got a crowd. We got My room is pretty small too. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a nice space here. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? We make it look bigger through the camera. I didn't know there's a whole fucking Bang Bro staff out here. Technically, they're retired, so but yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah, from right? there they for sure. Yeah, yeah. For yeah sure. but you know what? They'll get right back to work if we need them to. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, yeah. how you been, man? I'm tranquilo, dude. Yeah. I've been, you know, I've been doing good, dude. Yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, doing good. Have, absolutely. We're super proud of you over here, too, man. Thank That's you, awesome. Bro. Yes, Thank sir. You, yes, sir. My brother, um, you know, Don't Blink Podcast is uh is a yeah. show that me, that me and Two Nights uh created. It's our baby, and it's uh to show what our guests, you know, how our guests made it to where they're at today. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. from where you started to where you're at today. And a big part of this show, I usually save this for the end, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop it off for you oh. at the beginning. Oh, my God. We talk about aliens, dog. Oh, oh let's do it. <laughs> off dude. rip. Off oh, rip. We're going don't conspiracy. blink, Mario. I'm don't fuck, blink. I'm okay. fucking <laughs> pulling up his <laughs> yeah. UFO in his bitch hey, right now. Hey, what? Do it, dude. What do you think about aliens, uh, UFOs? Do you believe? Matter of fact, today I saw some weird shit on fucking Instagram, but <laughs> who knows about it? Okay, so, so this is my thing, just yeah. to get you started. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I want to believe in it. I kind of do. You know what I mean? The so no, no, no. You do, bro. You do. I, I do, but, yeah. but bro, like, look, with all the technology, these 12G uh, or X cameras, whatever we have, all yeah. that shit, and we don't have, like, footage of <laughs> yeah, Well, that's he that, does. That's He's necessarily seen some shit. true, He's though. Seen You've shit. seen the, the footage that, that the government's dropping now, the yes. little pill, yeah. Yeah. the little yeah. airplane. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ecstasy? Yeah, the no, fighter jet. No. The fighter jet. No, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. flying through pill, the fucking. Yeah. yeah, no, it was yeah. a fighter jet, yeah. and they recorded the pill flying through the right. sky. Yeah. And more and more people were, you know, more pilots and stuff coming yeah. out saying that, yo, we've seen this shit. Yeah. I just think now, I think now, I, I, I almost think like with so much shit happened that we're like, yo, fuck those aliens. Like, when are we gonna get rid of this COVID shit? Like, it's just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like aliens are not going nowhere for sure. They're here and they're here to stay for sure. I yeah. think they might be, you know. Interdimensional, yeah. interdimensional is that? Yeah. I think right? so. like they come in and out of different dimensions. Absolutely, mm. I, I always say we're like their fucking ant farm, bro. They look yeah. in here and like, oh, these guys are fucking shit. Yeah, up, bro. You know yeah. yeah. this guy's growing a mustache on <laughs> one side of his thing. Like, these people are crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. got dress, you know what I'm saying? No, I like that though. I like. You I like, like this? It. It's different. Have you ever? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have I ever what grown one? No, no. I was gonna right, say something. You know, he's no, he's doing it. He's doing. He got the full blown. He got the grizzly Adam. Can you get the full? You you do the full or? Actually, it was half. Yeah? It started off like this. Oh, I've seen pictures of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like half, and then it just went migrating down south. What made you just go fuck it up? Because I can maintain this easier. 
Just you know that one side? Yeah, just that one side. And it's right here. I just get the machine. Whoop, 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 whoop. Done. No, done. You, but you know what? I like the meaning behind it. Because the meaning behind the half oh, a yeah. face and is, it has is, a meaning. is fuck what everybody thinks. Yeah. You know well, I mean? that's why I like it. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. like at one point when I quit my job, I dyed my hair blonde. And they're like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? And I said, I could do it now. I don't yeah. have a job. So you let it rip. Yeah, it's like, you let it rip, dude. Right, So that's what this means, right? I love it. It means let it rip. You know what I'm saying? Full meaning of let it rip right there. Half his face. Yeah, hell yeah. And everybody loves it now. So a year later, that's it. Yeah. yeah, it ain't got nowhere. They're like, you know, they're like that. You're like that special brother. He's all right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool, dude. <laughs> My brother. Um, so what's up, man? Talk to us. How, how, how's everything dude, going, brother? Things been going well, bro. Yeah. Things been yeah. going good. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, we uh, we're steady on the comedy thing, you know, um, dipping my toes back into the stand up game nice. a little bit. Nice. Um, uh, sketch is going strong. Yeah, I mean, I the that. network's growing. The team's yeah. growing. That's awesome. You yeah. know, but but. Like you guys, you know, you, you keep the circle small enough where, right. you know, the core of it is uh, you could always fall back on that no matter how things go. You Absolutely. Know? So, Absolutely. But we've been blessed enough where, you know, we're really making some strides, dude. That's awesome. Hell yeah. yeah That's man. awesome, man. The blessings. I, bro. And you you was born here in Miami? I was born here, yeah. Born yeah. Right. in so Hialeah we, Hospital. Yeah. 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 We got Hialeah. Yeah. 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 Every I knew time. the vibe, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five minutes oh, in, I'm look, like, yeah, she, every she, staff from Bang Bros is from Miami. Hey, I'm she, trying to tell you. Yeah, she makes my. Uh, she she <laughs> she always. She always gets my my paper for me to get ready for my uh, for anybody that comes in, and she she made sure to write Hialeah. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. That's dude. the executive producer. She <laughs> right just told me about a friend that that I had in, that I went to Hialeah High with. Oh, shit. oh yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so so born and raised in Hialeah, Cuban oh. parents. Cuban parents, awesome. yeah. yeah. That you know, father, old school '80s Scarface. Don't yeah. no connection there with him. Yeah. Uh, mother did the <laughs> did the uh, the single single mom thing. Two yeah. kids, you know, West Hialeah nineties, listening to Pac and whatever the fuck we could. Yeah, you know, it was yeah, a different yeah, time. Yeah. Everybody was a Wilo and a fucking yeah. Mango Hill, Mango yeah, Hill yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah. So I grew up in that era. Yeah. in Hialeah. How old are you? I just turned thirty two. Okay, oh, you're nice. young. Yeah, yeah, I look yeah. like I took a few shots from Yuli, but that's life, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're young so, as hell, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, just turned 32, so happy birthday yeah, to well, you. Thank you very yeah, much, dude. When thank was your birthday? December 5th. Oh, nice. Sagittarius in the building. Sagittarius. Bring, the cake, bring Sagittarius. the cake up. Bring the cake up. Bring the cake up. We yeah. had the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. And yeah. uh, let me ask you, comedy's always been around since you were a kid? you remember being uh, a funny kid? I, I... I don't know, dude. I I, I want to say the sappy fucking story, the uh, the eat true Hollywood. Like, I you know I I did it to cope, right? You know right, what I'm right, saying. Right. But honestly, like, I think there's some truth to that. I think that, um, seeing how much shit you dealt with at home and 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 what your parents, you know, what your mom was dealing with, and if you could make people laugh, you notice that immediately the room changes. You Absolutely. know, yeah. And I did that in school. I did that at home. Uh, I I remember even drawing. Like, whatever the fuck I could do art-wise to get... You know, I remember my grandfather was a stone-cold fucking... He would hug like this. Try to hug me. This was him. Eh, eh, don't say. Okay, and don't say. <laughs> it's like no emotions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember when I would draw shit, uh, he was so fucking impressed by it. Mira como pintó la cotorra esa. Mira la cotorra esa. So that would open that door And I was like, oh my God. Like, this art shit makes Absolutely. these certain people mm -hmm. happy. That meant something to me, you know? So it was art. It was music. You know, I learned how to play music because... Made people feel good, you yeah, know, and then yeah. comedy was always like, uh, I was always effortlessly good at it, you know right. what I'm saying? I can make my teachers laugh, and I was yeah. sucking at school, but I can make them laugh and pass. Right, you know, I see, you, you know, you're a smart guy, so you were, you were always like witty, like you could come, you know, coming yeah, back I, with I, I think so, I think it was yeah. more like a defense yeah. mechanism, because I couldn't fight, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, if I fucking outwit you, you stop picking on me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make fun of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. dude, yeah, you gotta, that, it's true, though, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if you're witty enough... You'll take a punch or whatever, but then you'll make fun of how the punch was, and then it's like, all right, well, let me, you know, back up a little bit. Right, 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 man. Leave it. That's Leave how you it. made it. That's how you made it through. You know, Listen, that's how we all made it through, man. Yeah, we're, hell it, yeah. It's a, we're all. I'm a 40 year old man too, bro. Fighting was my way of coping with life. You know what I mean? I made it to I'm where another baby, not my bills. You know, I'm sure. I was fast, so I would run like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I was fast, <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, you got that gazelle leg. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't catching me, bro. I was like, okay, what? Look at that. Bam, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> hey, when did, when did you think about doing something with comedy though? Like, you know, when was it that you thought to maybe be a comedian or, or, or? dude? Um, again, like in high school and in middle school, I was always kind of, and I hate to say it, but I don't necessarily call it the class clown because I knew class clowns and they were just like fart in the back of the class type right. of, yeah. you know. <laughs> I I feel I was always good at making like intellectual jokes like like making the teacher comfortable with me enough to laugh about something where like 
she'll see me a little differently than the other kids. You know, I wouldn't make yeah. fun of her. I'll join in, you know, I'll let her in on my joke. Right, right. Um, and then I was always, I was always using that. that I was pretty good at just making people laugh. And then it wasn't until like the first time I thought about it was I would see like locals and I would see like these whatever channels my fucking poor mom and us could watch like late at night. So there's like one show that would show like like four right. different Latino comedians and shit. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, what's so they just stand there and do comedy? But it was intriguing, you know, mm-hmm. and I didn't click yet. And then it wasn't until I was like in middle school, but I enjoyed it. I was like, that's, that's cool. Whatever the fuck yeah, that yeah. is, is cool. And it stayed there. But it wasn't until middle school where uh, an, uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine, she always knew I was quirky and a little witty or whatever. And she's like, dude, there's this dude on Comedy Blend or so one of those Comedy Central. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And she's I used like, to watch that. Yeah, yeah. It was like half hour yeah, comedy yeah, special. Yeah, yeah. She's like, he kind of reminds me of you. You know, skinny at the time. I had fucking little spiky hair. And she was like... He, you know, he's in this tank top and he's fucking kind of crazy and animated. And he just reminds me of you. Let's watch the special when we get home. Who was it? What was the name? She throws it on <laughs> and here comes fucking 20 something year old Dane Cook. Oh, shit. Oh, in the tank yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. I love Dane Cook. <laughs> with man. the fucking the alien yeah, bid and all yeah, that shit yeah. and the Burger King or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, that. It was the first time I saw someone, because traditionally I would see the, the stand of comics and they were kind of just not so animated. They were funny as fuck, right. but it wasn't. I couldn't relate as much. You know, they're doing more yeah. adult jokes and stuff. This guy was talking about, you know, ordering barbecue. And, like, and the girl's like, oh, you want pussy? Like, you want my pussy? Like, the way she was whispering <laughs> yeah. through the, like, the Burger King yeah. thing. And I'm like, who the fuck says that? And that was the first time. I was like, dude, that's a job? Like, is this guy getting paid for that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fast forward a little bit more. Again, it registered. I was like, that's, that's cool. Whatever that is. I don't know how the fuck you get into that. Um, but fast forward and to make the story a little shorter, um, I started working, I had a daughter, um, Kylie and Kylie, she's going to watch She'll yeah. probably, Hey Kylie. Yeah. And, um, I had a daughter and I had to get, you know, from a part time to a real, I had to be a fucking father now. Right. You know, During to, high school? No, no, no. This was, uh, this was, uh, 2012. So a few years after high school, hey, bro, right? Real yeah. life hit. Yeah, I fast yeah, forward yeah, a little yeah, bit. Real forward. life hit you. Okay. Real life hit me. Jump me too fast. I was switch, my bad. I fast forward a lot yeah, more yeah, than I thought yeah. I did. My bad. Uh, so after high school, uh, dude, I I uh, I was working. I we, we found out we we're gonna have a kid, and and I started working at the state attorney's office. I was working at the city of Hialeah. I was doing like park and rec shit. Okay. And then I said this position opened up at, at the state attorney's office. And I was like, what the fuck is that? It sounds like federal shit. It sounds like important. And they paid okay, you know? So I was like, I'll do that shit. And it just all hit me, dude. I saw my life being super fucking serious. Like, I get the real job, be the father. Like, I... You found yourself living in a cubicle and shit. Yeah, Yeah, dude. I saw my life kind of going somewhere I never thought it would. And then I I fell into a bit of a depression. I really did. And I know people say that shit like... Oh, Chipotle was closed. I'm so depressed. Uh, and I was like, nah, dude, when you're depressed, like, like, there's nothing someone could tell you that gets you out of that shit. Mm-hmm. And I was really, you know, the walls at the state were gray. People were coming in, their convicts and detectives were coming in there, and everybody was serious. And I did end up in the cubicle, and I was like, dude, you know what? Um, right, right before my daughter was born, that 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 week before, I started looking up like. The opposite of what I was in. I was like, well, how about comedy? Let me, let me fucking just, I mean, let me look up how you yeah, even yeah, started yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. And in some article, they were like, you go to an open mic. Go to an open mic. Like, what the fuck? It was like a slam poetry open mic? Like mm-hmm. those, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah you can yeah. do comedy in that shit? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said, uh, I found like some Miami improv page. And it said, uh, you could call and get like 10, uh, you bring 10 people, you get like five minutes. I was like, yeah, five minutes. I was like, all right, throughout my life, I've had some jokes in my head. Maybe, you know, I could put together five minutes. So, dude, without even, I was in the state attorney's car and, like, this undercover, because I was doing transportation. Oh, they gave me a car to, ooh, it was in the whip and everything. No, 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 yellow plate? You had the yellow plate? Nah, dude, <laughs> dude I did, and I would park at Puerto Rico, like a badass. <laughs> right in the front and go get lunch. <laughs> and, and, dude, I'm in the parking lot, because I would, I would transport uh, uh, paperwork from the court to, to my department. And so I had the car, and I'm parked there. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking call. Fuck it. Like, like l- l- I'm going to figure this shit out. So I yeah. called, and this guy, Mike Cintron, I actually bumped into him at a, at a show the other day. And he was like, yo, what's up? 
I go, dude, I, I you know, I want to do this, you know, stand up. Like, I, I was so nervous at like a job interview. Uh-huh. He's like, yeah, yeah, just bring 10 people. I'll give you five minutes to the improv. The old Coconut Grove one. Oh, man. That's awesome. Oh, that was yeah, nice. the real intimate. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there a million times. Dude, and I was like, I was like, what? That's, <laughs> that's it? Like, he's like, yeah, yeah, bring 10 people, uh, two drink minimum, and you get five minutes. And then he hangs up on me. I was like, <laughs> oh, shit, this is all happening a lot faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure enough, in fact, we saw that picture the other day. I brought 10 people. You know, my girl was pregnant as fuck. She was about to give birth. And I got on stage, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm prepared to bomb. You know, like, I looked at YouTube videos of greats saying, like, the first time they went up, they bombed. And <laughs> yeah, then you just, you know, you know, you got, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, all right, it's part of the process. It's part of the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went up there, and I'm in the back room. I'm in the green room, right? That that green room would open up to right the, to the stage. stage. Right. Right. Real tiny, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Real tiny. Yeah. So I'm back there, dude, and I'm looking at this room, and there's pictures. I'll never forget a, a big laminated picture of Dave Chappelle on that stage. Oh. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was a huge Chappelle Show fan, too. You know, to see that guy yeah, up, yeah, yeah. step right where I'm about to step, and my emotions and I'm sweating and, and the other dudes back there just like talking shit and hanging out. I'm like, how the fuck is no one panicking, dude? This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, bro. Uh, guys, give it up for your, your next guys. It's first time coming up. I'm like, I'm hyper yeah. <laughs> And dude, as soon as you open that door and those lights hit you, dude, and it's, it's you only, you can, rush. Mm. you can kind of see right. the yeah. front row, but not really. And everybody's a blur and a shadow. And mm-hmm. dude, I did the five minutes course like dick jokes and whatever like yeah, shitting yeah, jokes yeah, and dumb yeah, shit yeah. you wrote when you're like 12 but yeah. i didn't bomb i didn't like like you had, like, you had more than 10 people laughing at you i <laughs> had yeah obviously yeah, my yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. i didn't do that bombing that they explained in all those videos i saw and in fact some girl sura she's a comic when i got off she said was that really your first time I go, yeah she goes you're really good and that did something like that That's awesome. i was like okay i think this is it dude yeah, I yeah, think yeah. this might be the thing, yeah. you know, and then yeah, I just you had that endorphin rush. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's nothing like, you know, uh, in a yeah. fight, you mm-hmm. know, on stage, like when you leave, like, you, you were on there for like two seconds. What the fuck did you do with that energy yeah. after that? Like you won't masturbate. Bro, and- no, you, 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 I, I try to jump out of the ring. Right. Right. <laughs> You're like, this can't be it. Yeah. What do you yeah, do with yeah, that energy yeah. after? Yeah. yeah. So I'm, you know, driving home with all that fucking energy. You're like, dude, I just... And hype, you just did it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I just let her rip. Look yeah, what yeah, happened, yeah, but right? you still have more bottled up energy. It's like, yo, <laughs> yes. I, I want to fucking do more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what are, you know, what yeah. do I do? And so what you can do is just bottle that up and use it for the next time. And it just became like a, a, an addiction, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, so you just started hitting open mics after that yeah, continuously. Dude. Yeah. So I would do the state attorney's office early morning. Uh come home to the daddy duties wipe ass eat uh not in that specific order but yeah. and then uh once everybody went to sleep you know my girl was asleep and the baby was asleep i'll i go figure this shit out so then i'll go to like one or two in the morning and come sleepy as fuck do it again do it again do it Hell again yeah. do it again drink and f- figure yourself out yeah. and try to meditate but it doesn't work and I meet end up other comedians and then you meet other co- <laughs> you <laughs> you meet meditate the masturbate yeah, yeah there's so much the masturbate horny <laughs> shit <laughs> But you understand, like I was trying yeah, Friday. to find. Yeah, I understand that it's Friday. The the okay. the, the normality of, of of this unconventional fucking uh thing that I've entered, you know, right, right, right. And um, and yeah, I just never had nights where I fucking bombed, dude. That's like awesome. where you're driving home, like this is not what I'm supposed. to Like <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do this shit. You or you never had to second guess yourself. You're like, Ugh. <laughs> maybe I'll be a fucking lawyer because so, that's the other thing too. You know, working at the state, you see real life in front of you every day right. you know at a nine to five you that that's real life and everybody around you puts their insecurities on to you you know you can do comedy do why don't you become a cop you know maybe <laughs> how'd you get there <laughs> yeah, well because yeah. you know everybody at the state but they're like you it's cute you want to do that right but maybe also have like a plan b right. mm-hmm. and that was always like i don't know i don't know maybe but i yeah, no. I, I, I could feel you so much on what you're saying it yeah, could, because when I started my fight career, it was uh, it was uh, something I wanted to do 
because I've always wanted to do yeah. it. I always had it in me. I always wanted to do it. I, I did amateurs as a kid. I was like, man, I got to do one pro fight. I'll take pictures, put it on Instagram, and say it. Tell my kids I did Get it. Get it out of you, yeah. I did it that first time. I knocked the dude out, and I, it was like this rush. It was uh, it was the biggest rush of life I ever had. And I was like, I, I need more of this. I need to, I need to continue yeah. with this, you know. And and here we are today. You know, fighting has just like comedy's done for you. It's yeah. opened so many doors for me and oh, introduced course, me to so yeah. many people, and yeah. you know, it put me in so many great positions. And uh, and, and you know the trick behind everything, whether it's comedy, music, or fighting, it's consistency. You know? Absolutely, stay, yeah. Dude. Stay Absolutely. consistent. Stay consistent. Your name's out there, and you're gonna get these opportunities. You know. Well, that, yeah, that's definitely. You know, I I didn't I didn't say I'm gonna be a stand up comic, but I knew that I wanted to be in the entertainment business, and a lot of people I looked up to start. I I didn't even know started in stand up. You know, Richard Pryor, Steve Martin, mm-hmm. yeah. all these people that you look in movies and all this started in stand up. Yeah. So I was like, dude, I didn't know any other way to get in there. I didn't have any fucking friends, any palanca, like any cousin that worked at Univision that knew Don Francisco <laughs> right, or whatever. Right, I'm right, like, right. no, I had zero people that could fucking get me into this shit. So it was all hard work. It was all just yeah. figure this shit out that yourself, you, you know? Well, and then to that, it's like all you needed was you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, believe yeah. in you yeah. and, and, and have faith that you was going to figure it out because yeah. that's, that's, that's how we got. That's how we are. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. You find yourself, you found the lane, and then you was consistent That's in it. it. Hit fifth gear in that lane, baby. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hey, how long have you been uh, running the Ramil podcast, right? That's your that's yeah, the podcast. How, yeah, how, how, yeah. Long, how long have you uh, been running it? Uh, that specific uh, branded show, like the Ramil podcast, for two years now. That's awesome. Nice. That's awesome. We're, we're about yeah. to have our one year birthday yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, so much, bro. Man. What's up? You got any advice that we could keep doing? Oh my god! What the fuck am I gonna tell you guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know? What you one year over? You like you, you, you two no, years dude, in the vibe. You, you guys are doing. Uh, you guys are killing the fuck. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you, you, man. Man. It's an honor to be here with thank you guys. You. Thank you. Man. I actually I was a guest on the Ramil podcast. Yeah. Uh, his brother is uh, the sound man engineer. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. JC, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome how they bounce off each other. This guy clowns his brother the whole time. And shit. Yeah, because yeah. he's more serious. This was this was also not like. Wasn't that at a lawyer's office? Okay, right. Okay, they had a podcast in the lawyer's office. Oh, they was. Secure then, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, actually a partner of mine that we uh, we do business with, and he uh, he had some space in the back. I was like, "Do you care if I do it in your closet?" Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and it's actually a very nice setup, man. We we're talking about you, that dude. before the show. Yeah, Damn. A bunch thank of you, dope uh, paraphernalia. All over the <laughs> done. Lock, lock me in January. Lock yeah, me dude, in. yeah, absolutely, absolutely, but, man. Hey, and uh, so you have an event coming up with the, a Christmas show with the Only and Dade? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We. Uh, uh, we we've been trying to work together for a while, and and um, I just had done the um, I just did the Miami Improv. We just did it on uh, on, on the, the Wednesday si- before Thanksgiving. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, we were yeah. out there, and it was the second time doing it. It was like the biggest, like for me, it was like this crazy fucking event because I, you know, taking on a, a venue like Miami Improv with just solely like your name. I work with these DJs as well. They called Two Hats, uh, yeah. my boys, um, and I think yeah, we met. I you guys did something at um. They they had a a noche. What is it? They're at, noche buena. No, they would do it at um, Blackbird over there in Blackbird. Brico. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, did like I, we did that one there. year, one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah those yeah. were the DJs. I, they they did my show, and so whatever. Point is that um that I we did the Miami Improv, and and I'm starting to get back into the stand up stuff, and then yeah, only and they hit me up, and they're like, you know, let's do this little festival thing that they got going on. So it's it's a spot on there, but yeah, it's definitely that's awesome. Now nah, you come a long way from from bring ten people and get five minutes. Oh, yeah, you know sure. what I mean? I was <laughs> just talking about who the fuck were they talking to about that? To me, while you were sleeping in your dream, <laughs> was, you was already envisioning coming yeah, to the Don't Blame yeah, podcast. I was talking to somebody about oh um. I we had the uh, Tony um from from the wharf the guy from the wharf the okay. guy that did the uh-huh. wharf that made the and uh, he's yeah, a he, dope entrepreneur you know what I'm saying like he's yeah. part of that whole and he was saying that he's like when the f- it goes from the like you keep inviting ten family members and when it goes from you start seeing you know one less face you know and and one that you don't yeah and then eventually you don't know anybody in there right yeah. <laughs> and that that was that night that was last the Wednesday before Thanksgiving it was four hundred yeah. fucking people. I didn't know. How was that feeling, man? Oh my god, dude! That was epic. epic. Oh epic. my god, epic. Dude. Hell yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's it's um, I don't know. It's, you can't. You're not. You're not there. 
yeah. for a second. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You're kind of, it's kind of like an outer body thing. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. You know? When I walk into the ring and I'm about to fight and I got thousands of people screaming at me. <laughs> Do you yeah. pay attention to that? Um, I used to more. Now, um, in the in the recent times, maybe in the last year, I, I've, I've tried to block that out as much as possible. Yeah. And uh, I just go in there and, and try to handle up. And because what happens was I used to walk out and then you see people you know and they're trying to make signs right, to you right, and, right, and right. then you get you get yeah, fight, yeah. fighting is something where you got to be fully focused on especially like your show too you lose focus for a minute you kind of start you're like oh shit where was of I you course. know so yeah the, I, hard, I, the hard part about what what, what I'm uh, attempted to do and actually did was I try to make it like a like a block party almost you know I got the DJs and the energy so fucking rattled up <laughs> yeah. that by the time I do come out people are just like they're in part like tits are yeah, out yeah, like, yeah. Ah! <laughs> and they see you and they're fucking yelling at yeah, you yeah, yeah, and, yeah titties are out and it's um <laughs> yeah it becomes something we're, different we're, right. we're going. but but if if the titties are out or if people are doing or they're trying to pass you, you a drink and you lose focus for that like half a second you're like oh shit wait where was that's I exact, that's exactly that's yeah, exactly right they're exactly. yelling in fact we played over the, the we had um, some cameras on stage and shit in the audience there's a uh, intoxicated woman right up front and every fucking joke and shit I would say oh, she'll shit. come on it yeah and i could see her and she'd be like no mario that's not and i'm the whole time like i'm like almost unlocking all six fucking chakras <laughs> yeah, trying not yeah. to look at this bitch <laughs> like shut the fuck up <laughs> you're not the only one here yeah so she was like uh she, she was a heckler we're not trying to be a heckler she right? was a sweet heckler yeah 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 because so, she would come so how'd you deal with it how'd you how'd you, how'd you move around you know i you address if you don't address it it's weird right because right. she's right, and, it, and it gets worse and it gets worse <laughs> but if you give too much to it then she could kind Become of take over. Part, right. Uh, and you don't want to blast her either because she's not necessarily a mean heckler. Right. She's just drunk. But she cute? She was that cute or whatever? You know. Yeah. What's up? Well, you, he's, he's, nah, he's working. He's taking what nah, we work. nah, we're working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying because maybe that's why you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the suave. If we the suave. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, chill. Uh, but uh, whatever. I mean, whatever. Have, you, have, you ever had a, have you ever had a uh, disrespectful heckler? Uh, like somebody talking shit? There you go. You, you know, or, or not really like you know, just just some guy out there or some a little bit not, more aggressive, a little more yeah. aggressive. Yeah, right? yeah. Right, you right, get right. you get people, especially in that atmosphere where mm. where they're drinking like right. that, and right. you know, uh, yeah, you get people that. That's the thing about headlining too, because like if you come out early, <laughs> then, then you're good. And once you come out the end of the show, yeah. people are drunk. They lit yeah. already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the titties out and everything. <laughs> yeah, dude, especially when you got like that element of having the uh, my DJs up there, and they're not just they're so fucking animated. Like they're they're so dope, dude. That. I want to yeah. meet these guys, bro. They're yeah. dope, bro. Two oh, hats, yeah. man. I love those guys. And and by the time I do come out, like what you're saying, it's a, it's not a stand up. It's not a comedy show. I'm literally. It's like I go into survival mode All right. because you got to control this 400 fucking room, uh, a, a seat room, room right. and they want they kind of want music as well, you know. But your comedy is a listening game, dude. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, it's it's like you do music. It's you want them to be fucking loud and then you know in comedy really it's like you guys sit down for an hour let me do that. hear my stupid thoughts yeah, yeah, yeah. and know? laugh hey, and hopefully you, they laugh you, you know what I've seen um uh, I mean obviously you've probably seen it too that uh, in recent times I would say maybe the last uh, two years maybe yeah uh, Miami's been a, a, a Mecca for comedy, like a lot of comedians oh, are coming yeah. out of Miami, homegrown, yeah. and a lot of people are coming to Miami, especially since the new improv opened here in Doral. Right, right, but uh, it's been growing. I see they got you as as number two uh, in the top ten comedians on TikTok. TikTok. Oh, TikTok influence. Yeah. That's what it is. yeah, it's fucking weird. I don't know where they get those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who's, well, the, who's number one? We need to take them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I, I don't know how they do that. I I, I assume I've had a few videos, which I didn't. Even, that was a TikTok thing. I I, I didn't even fucking. I can't keep up with all these fucking you, apps that are coming you got, out. You got sixty. We're gonna sixty nine thousand followers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't even want to get on TikTok, dude. Yeah. Like, because you you start you you start. Well, we started probably like on MySpace and shit. You start with all these apps, and then you start growing a little bit of a fan base, and then some other app comes out. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, now yeah. you gotta start fucking dancing your ass off. <laughs> well, <laughs> the get... first one I ever got in my life, I was never in MySpace, Facebook. Nothing. First one I ever got in my life was Instagram, and then uh, oh, you know, then follow with Twitter. Then then uh, uh, was it was uh, the one with the picture Snap, Snapchat? Snapchat. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> this was on one point. So I'd find myself on my phone, yes. like you're sitting on a toilet, your legs are numb, yes. you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, nah, poof, took out, took everything out except Instagram, it, just left that it on, does and, fuck and you that up, still kind of pisses me off when I catch myself on it too long sometimes. Too. TikToks like that, yeah, you get yeah. on TikTok. Talk and first it's like oh a little cool like dance and then four hours in you're like watching this like Epstein conspiracy <laughs> go to the next slide like what the fuck 
fuck am I? My legs are numb. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're, this is insane. It's cutting into your masturbation hey, time. Hey, you yeah. know what? And honestly, man, honestly, it gives me a little sense of anxiety, man. So, <laughs> it does, yeah, it yeah. does. Because we weren't meant to process that much information <laughs> right. all at once. It goes from, uh. dude, it's happened to me where like you'll, you'll be like, oh, that's a cool like picture of a fucking bunny. And then you swipe and it's like, Oh, that soldier's coming home to his family. Yeah. And you're like, bro. Yeah. Fucking emotions. <laughs> and listen, dog, and yesterday I'm looking through something. <laughs> my girl's like, are you crying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got tears in my it's eyes, bro, because some little off. girl, some, some dude came out of prison after seven years and his little girl. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, dog. Those, those oh, fuck damn. me up. Those fuck me up. Yeah, and then the bro. next thing is some fucking chick in her ass. And you're like, yeah. that's what I was about to say. Crazy yeah, emotions. And then that's so, when your girl looks yeah, over and like, oh, really, babe? No, I'm scrolling. Yeah, you go from that to like two bumps fighting over a beer or some shit. Yeah, and now you're invested. Like, in, front of, in front of checkers In front of checkers <laughs> He got Jesse Smollett Lying about <laughs> yeah, bro But they caught his accuser yeah, I know. They caught his uh, Fucking Jesse That's crazy my, my brother How do you uh, How do you get into Your creative process dog How do you come up With your stuff I need your secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because Yuli like it too. Yuli, Yuli, Yuli likes comedy, and we about to get him in. Comedy. We about to get comedy. him on the stage. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was at uh, Casa Tiki one Casa time. Casa Tiki, we pulled uh, up on him. Yeah, we pulled up on him, and uh, I got my forty-five seconds on stage. You went up. My, yeah, because there, two, there two was you bring jokes. five people, you get forty-five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Yo, <that's what> <laughs> so <laughs> we went five yeah, people we, deep and got forty-five. Yeah, yeah. We went to show love. We went to show love to some to some one of our guests that was here, and went to go show love, and and I felt rowdy, bro. I'm like, they're telling jokes. I got. Two dumb jokes that I probably had from like who knows yeah. when. Say it, say it, say it, say it. I got it. Say it, say it, say it. And 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 okay, so I'm gonna tell you one out of the, out yeah, of the right. two. Let's go. Um, um, we got the end problem. This is yeah. sold out right now. What what is, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Yuli the Monster Diaz. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb right here on my own show. Hey, so what is the hardest thing about of rollerblading? It's the hardest thing about rollerblading. Um, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's great. Dude. That's, thank you, thank you. Been all night. That's, that's not bad. That that's was one. Of, that, that was that was one of the two dumb jokes I did tonight. But uh, but anyways, that, that that's material dicey that's, to open with though. If you're gonna, there you go. You go don't steal it. Don't let it's copyrighted. It was Casa it. it was a good yeah, yeah, fifteen yeah, yeah, people yeah. around. You know, you can also have the advantage. Just I went, going when, like this to somebody. Yeah, no. When I got on stage, four people left to go smoke cigarettes. You know, they're like, all right, we'll be back. Oh shit, dude. Um, but no So anyways This material's <laughs> old as fuck How do you come How do you, how do you come up with yours bro? Yeah that's like, what I'm saying That's why we're asking you Because we need help nigga. We, yeah, need yeah, update, yeah. we need to update it Because we want to hit the improv yeah. bro. Dude, Sell no, it out That was a good I mean first of all It takes balls to <laughs> Going from fight Like like those are way too Parallel different feelings like, <laughs> Yeah 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 From yeah. like going It's weird with comedy Because you go up there And you only objective But like in music People could perceive the music however the fuck they want. It right, could yeah. be a sad song that it's sad for one person, but it's it's very inspirational for another. Right. In comedy, you your only fucking object, your your only uh, 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 purpose is to make them laugh. Right. So by default, you go up there and they're like, just wait, like, okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so that's a that's that takes yeah. balls. Yeah. Like, what, yeah. like, well, honestly, or vaginas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've <laughs> always, uh, always since a kid, I've always been a fan of comedy. Yeah, I've always. Uh, I, I feel like you know, to pat myself on the back here, but I, I, mean, I I'm comedic to a sense. I'm witty, and yeah. I you know I talk yeah. back, and we I get bounce jokes off uh, of people, you know. So I've always had that little thing in me where I wanted that moment, that one of the forty five seconds. Yeah. Let me get let me get up there and say these dumbass yeah, jokes. Yeah, <laughs> you got laughs though. Right? Yeah, I got a couple of laughs. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So was it we like three minutes or five minutes? Like what would Bro, what, would, what, what I, do you I, think? I, what do you well, recommend? Well, like, listen, I, I'm sure he'll tell you too. Uh, three minutes uh, is a lifetime up there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I lowered yeah. it from five to three, so we can give you some, <laughs> no, it, get, it, get it, some hope. It, you know, right? especially if 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 you're if you're like Rocky, like let's say you throw one out. Yeah. Let's see through that one out and the guy in the front. They like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I got four more minutes to yeah. be up here. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so do we save that? Do we push that one back or we yeah. take it out? Hey, you know what, man? I need 45 seconds at the Only a Day Christmas show. Boom, Come that's out it. There, bro. Come on, Let's go. Dude. Give him a gift. <laughs> no, the process is is very much like like this, dude. You know, like how we're doing right yeah. now. There's a topic that that I maybe threw out that I've been throwing around in my head, you know, and, and it kind of lit something up. You guys laughed or you kind of... It was an interesting subject, so then now I know, okay. Uh, do, you, do you write there. it down? Do you go record it real I never, quick? I, I've never no. been... Um, uh, uh, Visual? No, no. Uh, a, a writer? A writer downer? 
Yeah, dude, I've never been um um what's that called? Fucking like disciplined enough oh, okay. to that's, sit that's and a word. A writer what? Uh-huh. A writer downer. A writer downer, yeah. A writer downer. You guys Start have, like, using that. You guys have like a podcast like phrases that you I mean, we're, we're making our own uh, yeah we're making urban, our own right now urban right, dictionary here. the yeah. don't blink urban dictionary like based on the crowd reaction did they like it yeah they did, did they like it? Yeah. I just said yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah the write yeah. it down yeah, we're going to Webster's <laughs> yeah dude Um, uh, yeah the process is very much that it's 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 observing reality and trying to you know but but if you don't write it down or, or, or record it how, how do you like remember you know your base of like where you want to start to, I, I feel like you're, I, you're good oh, so you that? freestyle the vibe I feel what well, like on stage? No, he's got to have it. You, you no, know, yeah, no, like the stage, process of creating the vibe. Yeah, yeah, we, just, we just all went the shit right now. Yeah, no, no, no. I, yeah, Jay Z on my fucking man. No, no. I, I, I do have bulletin points. That's always helpful. Okay, okay. So okay, that's where we got like a set list yeah. right. of what I'm gonna do. So okay. if I'm saying um, <laughs> gay rollerblades, now I know what that the joke is. I know that I'm gonna get into that. Right. I'm gonna get into, and then maybe the punchlines for that is is uh, 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 the Thunder Wheels. And then I know, okay, I know I had like three or four jokes with Thunder Wheels. So if I could segue from rollerblades to Thunder Wheels and then from Thunder Wheels to growing up. You don't, that, you, you don't smoke weed, huh? That shit. <laughs> that'll fucking lose me, huh? No. I, That's how he puts it together, bro. Yeah, I think no, I, I, I don't know. I, I've never, I've tried. No, I've tried. But the way you just put that like that, it yeah. actually it makes really sense. Yeah. Like, it made, it'll help you, like, get the jokes. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I, mean, I used to look at people doing, like, an hour special. I'm like, how the fuck? Yeah. Well, one, I didn't realize that they've been probably doing it for, like, the past two or three years. Right, right, right. Um, and two, that does help. You know, I, the first comedian I saw at the Miami Improv, when I was like, I don't know if it was before I did stand up or a little after, but it was the first comic I saw on stage, and again, it was very intimate. So he was right there. Was yeah. Donnell Rawlings? Oh with, shit, uh, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley, Ashley, Larry from Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, Ashley, Ashley, Larry, Ashley, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley, Larry. Yeah. Dude, he <laughs> fucking murdered. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Murdered for like an hour and a half, yeah. and I caught him on the way out. Like right when he got off stage, I was like, dude, I just wanted it. Fucking any any little piece of game you could give me. Just at the time, I was dude, I was sneaking into green rooms and shit, interviewing Pablo Francisco. And oh, oh shit! Awesome. I just wanted. I was risking to get kicked out. I just wanted anything that could spark something, you know. And I caught him on the way out. I caught him right, and I go, dude. My, that was my first question. I go, how the fuck did you just do an hour and a half? And you know, it looked like you were riffing. I didn't know, you know. And he goes, well, one, um, I know where I'm going with my material. You know, he knows that, you know, he had one about Popeye's chicken. He knows he has like four jokes there so he could hit that. And then it goes from that to uh, gaining weight. So he knows the segues there. And I was like, oh, that was interesting. He, yeah. had, he had that. And then he said, also, if you're having fun, they're having fun. If you're up there trying to fucking remember all this yeah. shit. Yeah. Like I, I, like I like acting. I was in a few things. I think we did Murder Gardens. I think you're in that too, right? No, no, it wasn't a murder. You weren't a murder. No, 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 no. Um, we've I, I've liked acting, but with acting, a lot of times you got to stick to the script, you know. And that I've caught myself like, like, it, for me, it's a lot more free to be like, all right, I know this is kind of funny, and I could fuck around with this, as opposed to trying to stay one, two, three, yeah, four, five. Like, I yeah. gotta hit these notes or else uh, these lines, or else right, it's not gonna. Right. He's and, not, yeah. Your demeanor changes if you're trying to think about. Yeah, and then you're there yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Is this guy, like, is he here? Do you have, <laughs> I think you take two right, seconds right, to get right, to remember. Right, like, no, he died. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Wait, wait. Let me start this over. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that helped, you know. Like, have fun on stage. Yeah. That was important, you know, because a lot of times you're just trying to retain the shit you thought about, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and. That helped, you know, if you're having fun up there and picking and, and whatever, it's so much easier for your brain to relax trying to get those bulletin points right, right. than you like in survival mode trying yeah. to remember that yeah. shit, you know? Just flow into the conversation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. And good doing and through the process of to where you are now, right? Like you, you learned it to perfect it. Yeah, yeah, But in yeah. the beginning, were those one of the bombing moments as far as yeah, like... Yeah, trying to remember Yeah, trying shit. to remember yeah. To this day, the, the fucking sold out, we had the, the, the sold out event. There's times where I'm looking at my, uh, at the, the playback and a lot of times where I turn around and I'll grab the cup because I'm like, where the fuck was I going yeah. with this shit? Yeah. <laughs> I, do that, I do that on stage. I'm like, where the water at? I do that in regular conversations, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around and be like, yo, what's the next song? Do you ever forget oh. lyrics? Uh... I forget like what's coming next. Like I just explained right now. Like I would forget like f- maybe like, like you're doing this song. You don't know what song is coming behind. Uh, like or? four songs in though. Yeah. 
like once we're already in, once I got the energy, once you we're out, what, what song I'm, you're gonna drop next? Yeah, like whatever oh, come next. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah, I would yeah. turn around and be like, set, the set list or whatever. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Then I turn back around and like, oh, you right. thought it was done? Nah, <laughs> in my water. <laughs> oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of that. Like, and then oh, boom, shit. let's go. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. and then we figured it out. Yeah. That's how that rolls. My bro, I heard you came up with uh, uh, some type of, uh, it's kind of like a think box uh, for creatives called, uh, excuse, excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. X-Q-U-M-E. X-Q-U-M-E. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. it sort of like what we just did right now? Um, like that, like, like just, so, like just yeah. Like that. yeah, dude, it was, it was really a um, whiteboard meetings and stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. dude. Mm. When I was at the state, again, at the cube, I'm trying to figure some shit out. And I, I would always get hit up by, like, influencers, and I hate the term, but, like, those, you know, content creators, like, dude, we got to make a video, we got to do this, we got to do that. And I was like, I, there was really no hub at the time uh, where I felt like people like me that was putting out content and getting some sort of feedback from it that could get together and maybe under one thing make content for, you know, cross-promote. Yeah. And we all put that shit out there. And at the time, I got like one or two uh people that were willing to pay me to do content you know i had like a like a, a lawyer or some somebody out um a roofer that was like dude if you do a skit about my company i'll give you 800 bucks word i was up on roof all over the fucking roof, like, <laughs> hammering shit 800 bucks the fuck out of here so i said dude if i'm doing that on like a, a micro level you know, imagine some of these other people that just maybe don't know how to monetize it, but they do have the talent and they do have the platform the and platforms. All that stuff, yeah. And I knew some of them. So I was like, all right. So I spoke to, you know, I spoke to to a few of them. I had a whole like meeting and shit. And um, and I told them the idea, you know, but it it, it, it actually worked. We took it, you know, we we, we launched it and um and there was, a, you know, so plenty of fucking people involved and and we did the city of hialeah they they we did an event there at mylander it was like fucking again like 300 people went out and, and it was just that it was just putting on events and very much like 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 only in day that that they're you know i feel like that's what we were aiming to do yeah you know what i'm saying and just be part of the culture and just my whole thing was if we could all make it like a studio dude you know, you're 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 an artist. You know, uh, you're a fighter, but you're obviously doing a, a podcast, so you're interested in all this as well. Like, where we could sit down, and how the fuck do we all make money off this shit? Right, right. Yeah, while doing what we love. You are you are you still holding like uh, these things? Are you still? Uh, I've realized I realized through that that I like what you were saying earlier about yourself. Like, I wasn't fully developed myself, so I'm trying to bring people up or or involve people, and and sometimes. A lot you're of my, you're holding yourself back a lot of them. your equity isn't is, is is distributed amongst too many things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I wasn't even who I wanted to be yet. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I said, okay, let's you know it, it dismantled, and I said, all right, I gotta I gotta go back to the drawing board. So I gotta do whatever the fuck I was trying to do with like 20 people with myself. I gotta get you know it's like like what people say like you could you could save the world with money. You gotta fucking get the money first. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right, you, yeah. you, you could do other charitable <laughs> things, yeah. but Money does help, you know what I'm saying? Time does help, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, so so I was like, all right, so if I could get to where I want to get, I could help a lot better. I could help a lot more. For sure. You know, and so that's 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 what happened. You know what I'm saying? I, Hell yeah. I reinvested in, in, in who I am and back to the drawing board as far as like my stand-up. I was neglecting that. Some of the content was a little uh, uh, diluted, you know? So I, I started reinvesting in, in like my character developments and, and, and podcasting, you know, podcasting. Mm. I, at the time, I was like, who's this Joe Rogan guy? You know, like, you start seeing yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I think I could do that. And so I just I reinvested in myself, you know? That's awesome. That's awesome. So That's awesome. you went back to the drawing board, back to what you did when you, you know yeah. what I'm saying, when you was at the office. And then you found right. the comedy. You right. started searching on the comedy. And listen, I, and I, I'd said, love, Let's to, go. I'd love to have that 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 school of ideas again, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but again, I, I feel like I have to get to a, a different platform before I do that. Absolutely, yeah. You know gotcha. I heard you're, uh, you're a doctor in Cuba. I was, yeah, yeah, I think nice. we all were, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a doctor. How, uh, how did that go? <laughs> that was fucking. That was. Uh, uh, yeah, fucking with me. Is for who was a doctor in Cuba? Yeah, for dude, that, bro. Yeah. Damn, yeah. hell yeah, yeah. That's crazy, dude. No, I wasn't. He's not a fucking doctor. Come on, I'm about to say, the nigga 32. The nigga 32, what's up? Hold up. He saw her face. She's like, God damn, he was a fucking doctor. And he was a he was a weatherman too. Yeah, I was a meteorologist. Yeah, I'm well rounded, dude. 
I'm well rounded. I actually, lo- I actually love y'all, those skits. Y'all bamboozle me? No, these are no, these bro, are come these on, are, man. Come on, man. These are dumb skits come that on. I did. I love no, the bro, fucking hilarious. But I'm just awesome. I'm just fucking with the viewers, bro. Oh, you come got it. Yeah, no, no, we got them. Yeah, I think we did. We got them. With the doctor one, you got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the doctor one, you got me. No, that was the first skit. That was a skit that I did on 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 social media that I put out, and I honestly I think that was the first time people were like, which was the first one that you could you say like that say went like viral, you know. That I, moment I, when you I, had that I, moment, I think it was the doctor one. Yeah. Well, viral in the sense of of like who I am, right? Because before that, I did a, a video with my daughter. She was like six months, eight months old, and she's like in a big old diaper. And we danced to that uh, Justin Bieber and Diplo song, uh, or the yeah, the Justin Bieber one, the dun, 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 that weird kind of like afilado. Ah, yeah, 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 <laughs> something love or something like that. <laughs> what, what, we do not own the rights to this song. <laughs> And so I was just like, she was a little fucking baby, but she was so animated. And I was like, you want to dance? And she's like, yeah. And so I dropped the song and she fucking broke it down. And we did this whole like, I would cross on my arms. It was a whole like gangster yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. to the video got like a million. It was the first time I ever saw like a million, like one point whatever M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Bill my, Burr? And yo, that was out on TikTok? Bill Burr That was, on, that was before TikTok. That was, oh, my shit. daughter's eight now. So she was. She was eight months old. That was fucking seven years ago. That's but, awesome. wow. but but uh she uh but it went that went viral, you know? But it wasn't me. Like I remember I remember going to a comedy club and, and uh, uh, a friend of mine at the time, a comic, he was like, So you're gonna use your daughter now for all the videos? Like, <laughs> like, you know, like, like get you know, Is get that, that viral. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and that that fucking that hit the wrong nerve. I'm like, fuck you, I don't need <laughs> and I'm looking at my daughter like I don't fucking need you. <laughs> And I love you though. Yeah, yeah. So like, Herky, you get but your own job. After that, after that is when I was like, dude, I gotta, like, I don't like that they think I'm extorting, uh, you know. Uh, right, right, right. Exp- right, you right, know. Right. Yeah. Um, well, that's because they didn't do it themselves. Yeah, because they, 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 they tripped. Yeah. That's that fear. That's that fear you, you sensed inside the thing. Yeah, well, I also i i i didn't want to be the the comic with the the baby. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was like, we just did a cute video. How the fuck? I didn't know it was gonna go up to a million. You know, definitely. There's actually some dude on TikTok. Um, that my my girl always shows me it's him and his daughter and, and bro the guy has they have millions of followers yeah, yeah, on yeah, it yeah, and, yeah. And, and and it's no, awesome no it's, no no hate to those videos yeah, yeah, yeah. some of them are cute yeah. and I watch them I'm like it's it cute as fuck especially when you have a, like a kid you're like oh my god like, how <laughs> loving I like to see the kids uh, you know involved with the thing because uh, man you never know. But you know you're molding their little brain. You know yeah. which way mm-hmm. it can go. You know, and yeah. and it, when your daughter's twenty, she'll be like, "Oh man, I did comedy with my dad one time." You know. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. So 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 after I did that video, I was like, "I got I got I got to tap into my shit." So I I don't know. I, well, actually, the the idea of the doctor thing, just the the I guess the monologue of it, the dialogue of it came from like I'm a pussy when it take when it, when it comes to like pills, like popping pills and shit. Yeah. And so I don't know. I don't know if that's like my grandfather. I don't know. Is it like right out with your headache? Like die, just die. You know what I'm saying? And one morning, I don't know. I woke up with like a headache. My 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 girl was like, "Dude, just pop these fucking Advils." And I'm like, "Well, how much? Like how many? Like what's how many milligrams or whatever?" She's like, "Fucking two hundred, you pussy." And I was like, just give me one. Just take fucking two, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I just need one. And that made me laugh. That she was like, "What a pussy!" Like two hundred milligrams. I don't know. It made me laugh, and that made me think of like a doctor prescribing you five hundred milligrams. Or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I also had a doctor in East Haile, a doctor. He, he was like a hundred years. I'm pretty sure he's dead or he's a vampire, and he's still around. But he was yeah. medical coach. You know the. Are you laughing? Is that your doctor too? From Haile? You know, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, he delivered her. <laughs> yeah, he was, he, but he was like that. He was like, you walk in with like a bone sticking out. He was like, ah, so I'm pulling the tape. Yeah. He was like, the old school fucking, ah, how the, how the, how the, how the. so I used like the, the like that kind of, ah, uh, you know, like uh, like you go in with anxiety. Like, yeah, so, yeah, machismo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So that was the whole premise of that, of the doctor yeah. skit. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy coming in and, you know, I'm head hurts and my neck and this and he's like okay I'm gonna write you a prescription here I'm gonna give you 500 milligrams <laughs> so that was that shit people would fucking I'll be out in like restaurants or whatever and people hey, I'm like what the fuck is this shit that was the first time people were like nice people take pictures and shit yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, doctor, yeah. the doctor Yo, and, you, and you edited that yourself or that was yeah, when you had yeah, the team yeah. no around? dude no oh, that, that was, that was, that was, was the, I was at the state uh. I was at home I was actually in my girl's grandmother's sewing room there you go fucking and I did it I made it look like a doctor's office 
Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you still have access to these state computers, I need you to, you know, get in there and release oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. We can expunge it. We can expunge it. My bro, um, uh, if, if there's any 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 young people out there, man, trying to come Spunge up, you know, come yeah. up doing the, to doing what you're doing now, you know, you got any advice for anybody out there, dude? You know, you know what? Um, a lot of times, this is something I wish I would have, I would have learned a little earlier. Uh, I remember thinking, if I get to a certain point, I can meet certain people that could maybe put you in the position you want to be in. And I realized that by doing that, you're always depending on someone. Like, you're always saying, like, if I could just get to this place here and this person sees me, then I could get to the next level. And and I think that's a, a like, like a, what happened? That's crazy you saying that, bro. No, go keep going. Ah, you going. said my fucking philosophy. Keep going. So, keep going. So, so what I learned through just fucking, you know, fucking life and me trying to make it is 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 you can't wait for those people you can't fucking wait for anybody right. there's no magic person there's no in fact when i got this was the crazy part when i got to meet some of those people they were trying to figure it out <laughs> yeah. right, right right they were figuring that they were trying to look at me like how the fuck are you getting money doing this dumb shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm looking at them like bitch you're the one that's supposed to put me on <laughs> 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 How the fuck are we both lost? I thought we were made at this level. Yeah. We need some answers. Yeah. So, so that that's like, I'll, I'll say that's my biggest advice: is don't fucking wait for any the magic, you know, uh, the, the the at twelve o'clock and and the the Cinderella, right. you right. know, magic carousel your pump, your or whatever. Pumpkin. Yeah, yeah the, the pumpkin, whatever it is, whatever thing you think. No, dude, like you had said earlier, you know, you invest in you, like like you be the guy that takes you to the next place because you can't lose that way you know Absolutely. what I'm saying and let well, it rip yeah we, we did the same way here I have I got a big saying it's, it's not what you know it's who you know but uh, it's if you put in consistency and work hard you know the, the right people are going to see you and the right yeah. doors are going to open yeah. for you by themselves you know what yeah. I mean you won't have to ask for anything everything if, will just be in fact going off that another little gem yeah. is also I realize it's it's not always who you know it's sometimes who knows you Absolutely, and I and I and I and I realized that when I was getting opportunities from people, I had no fucking idea who they were. That's very true. But yeah. somehow they found my shit. That's very true. And they're like, "Dude, I think you'd be perfect for this thing." Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I just you know I I realize you can't wait around for that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, even yeah. sometimes you get that opportunity you wanted for years. It happened to me. You yeah. know, um, radio. I thought that was the dopest shit. Growing up, I'm like, if I could fucking get on radio, I'll be. And then you get presented with ideas. I'm like, this is ass. Yeah. This. <laughs> I just do my own that, podcast. This is a different size cubicle. Yeah, you know, with yeah. different yeah. with buttons and stuff. That, that's the thing in life. It's 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 weird that way. You know, what I'm saying like your perception of certain things growing up are not what they realistically yeah, are when what you they get really there. Are, yeah. You know, so I guess stop thinking so much of the future because what you want might not even be that thing you want when you get there. Right. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. True. And, and, yeah. and the reason why, and the reason why like I chuckle and I'm like, yo, you just keep going because you're talking my language is just, you know, in the music game, yeah. that was the vibe. Like, yo, all you need is this one person to see you. Yeah. All you need is yeah, this one person course. to hear you. Label. All you need is this one person to yeah. see you on stage <laughs> to give you that opportunity. And every time I always thought that I met that person because yeah. I've met a lot of yeah, motherfuckers in my... Yeah, sure. I've met a lot of people in my journey yeah. and it's just like, no, nah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Till then I let it rip. I let it rip. Started thinking about myself. Started building, you know, all of this came about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the path just led me to the right people with the right mind, with of the course. right vibes. And, and I know Mike's known me ever since I was, you know, 12, 11. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, and they known each other since they were in high school. Right. No, you know? since before that. So since yeah. before high school. Little League Baseball Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what yeah. I mean? And to all of us be right here right now as a, like a family, a conglomerate, and, yeah. and we're doing if, these things. Yeah. We're coming together. We have meetings. We talk about projects. And, um... We figure out where we're going to get the money to fund the projects, and then you know what I'm saying, and then the projects come to life. And then if you know you're a saying? good person, man, you're doing good things, and you're trying, you know, and, and uh, you have good people around you. Where doors open, man. That, yeah. that, that matters so much, dude. Absolutely, that matters so much because a lot of people turn into sharks when they uh, when they're chasing what they want. You know what I'm saying? And and I've realized that some of those same people now. Uh, are trying to get into the circle they neglected in the first place. You know what I'm yeah. saying? 
because you push people, you push that many people away, those people might band together. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And become bigger than you, you were. But you and are. are you for know? sure. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. You you never know who you're talking to, bro. So talk guys, talk nicely to everybody. Dude, the janitor. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the I, I treat him the guy, same. CEO the, or janitor, bro, gets treated the same by that's me, That's the dopest shit, yeah. dude. And you have it and you have mm-hmm. it. Like when people are like, dude, you seem very humble. Like, dude, I went to Highly a High. From <laughs> like that. There's no, yeah, like, yeah. like I, I grew up in a one bedroom. My, where, where was I laughing with my brother about this? We used to sleep in ping pong pools. Like, yeah. in, yeah. wait, wait, what the hell is ping pong pools? Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Like ping, inmates, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to crack my bed open to sleep in it and then fucking Yo, bungee yeah. it back oh, up. What, why do I got to know what's ping pong pong? Well, I don't know. They both did. Wow, is, this guy. That is Miami <laughs> slang, bro. Yeah, my bad. Is that, is that, is that, I thought that was universal. What's a, hey, how, hey, what is a ping pong pool then? You guys don't know. Uh, they might don't even know what's a ping a runaway bed. A runaway bed. The ones that come okay. folded like this in old ah, time. Okay. Yeah. And because, when you open it, it goes ping pong hey, pong. There was actually a shirt that said ping pong pong, and it was, it was the bed opening. <laughs> <laughs> that was my bed, dude. <laughs> okay. You know, so when people are like, "You're ping so humble," I'm like, "Dude, yeah. Yeah. I came from a ping. I slept on a ping pong. Slept like an inmate on a fucking ping pong pool. Yes, dude. And they work for the state after. Yeah, like you know, like when people take all you know. Shit yeah. to their head. Don't, don't take know. yourself too seriously. I man. find that yeah. laughable a little yeah. bit. You, you did it, though. You did it here. You here now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, What's dude. coming up next right now that yeah. you can tell the What's people? Coming up next? You know what well, I'm saying? It's the end of the year yeah. already. We're about to enter the Let It Rip season three. Yeah, yeah. Congrats, bro. That's you know what big, I'm saying? Dude. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you. You don't want in the discipline that it takes to do this because a lot of people, they think the podcast shit takes off on its own. Yeah. Like, like, oh, I just interviewed fucking, uh, I don't know, uh, who's the mayor of Suarez or whatever, yeah. and that's yeah. it. Yeah, I'm Miami mate or whatever, yeah. I'm, you know? No. Nah, he didn't bring in the key to the city. L- let me tell you, man, we, I, I have to give, uh, it, you know, we've been blessed to be here. You know what I mean? It's, uh, we're, it's, it's about to be a year that we've been yeah. doing this consistency. Yeah. The first meeting we had a year ago, the, the main plan was we have to stay consistent with us. Yeah. With us. Uh, for everybody that can't see these people behind the cameras, it has a lot to do with them. There's a lot of people yeah. here I didn't realize. Everybody here is family. Everybody here comes together. Everybody yeah. um, puts this as a top pri- priority, you know what I mean, when, when it's time to. Um, and you're right. Everybody thinks, like, oh, you got a podcast, you're going to be rich or some That's shit. It. You yeah. know what I mean? That's it. <laughs> and no, it takes a lot of work to to even get seen, you know what I mean, to get noticed on uh, we're, we're blessed to have the, the thousand plus people that we have, you know, subscribe yeah. to oh, us. It's like a thousand thirteen, by the way. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, get the numbers. Get the numbers. Yeah. Get the numbers. Oh, all of y'all. That What's matters, up, bro. bro. Those 13 matter. Actually, dude. no. Like a thousand one hundred thirteen or something. A thousand one hundred and thirteen. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Absolutely right. But, hey, it's hard on YouTube. Yeah, people but, get so lost in those numbers, though, yeah. dude. And yeah, because yeah. of fucking social media, right. now if you don't have a million, it's nothing. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. dude. I love our thirteen. You fill up this whole warehouse with a thousand thirteen people. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, you know, and we just saw, we just... Keep it. We're ourselves. We love to have people on you yeah. on here like yourself. That you know, keep Thank it humble, you, be cool, um, and show people how to get to the next level in, in in life and whatever it is you're doing. You know. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Absolutely, yeah. and it, I I feel responsibility to spread that that, yeah. that energy. You know. Absolutely, me too. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. We like young OGs though. I mean, like we in the thirties, so we like young yeah. OGs. You know, what I'm hey, saying? I'll take the young part. You know, when people, yeah. when people, I guess because of life, you've you you know you've garnished these fucking experiences and shit. Yeah. So I've I've had people a lot older talk to me, and they're like, "Dude, like when we were growing up, I'm like, bitch, you're sixty. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me in your seat. Yeah, so like, like I catch them, and I'm uh, like, they're like, oh, in our generation, uh, or when we were growing uh, up, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. how old do you fucking think I am? <laughs> My brother, so so coming up next, we can see you in the Only in Day Christmas show. That we'll, is, we'll, uh, we'll be there at the end of, um, right now, uh, towards De- the end of the, yeah, of December, the end of December. And then, dude, uh, you know, f- 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 I want to give a big shout out to the to the Miami Improv man because they, uh, especially Melissa, uh, the GM out there, Melissa, uh, Justin, Stacks, every, everybody out there, dude, Stacks, been fucking Stacks, amazing. Yo, he, was he was on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. fucking super cool, dude. But but Melissa was uh, the first one to be like, dude, I want you to come on and try to. Just have a night. They're great people. Have a, yeah, they're yeah. great people. Amazing people. Easy to work with too. And because of them, you know, I've met uh, I met Robbie Day, the owner, mm. and uh, and dude, we we might plan. And this is an exclusive. Do the oh, exclusive. Oh, that's cool. Wait, do we yeah, got an yeah. exclusive? Yeah. Drop yeah. a no, bomb on him. Drop a bomb. Oh, Rex, where Drop, you at? What's that little kid? Here it is. Wait, we put him on the spot. He was on Instagram uh, scrolling, uh, looking at booty. Oh, Mo Fire. Let's go. Let's go. go. Drop it. Well, we got DJ in here, too. His name is DJ Rex in yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah. DJ Delay in the motherfucker. Right, <laughs> no, but, but because of... He carries a knife in his shoe. I suggest you don't. Know <laughs> no, but because, uh, because of them and, and, and how amazing just... 
all of them have been and us working with them and shit like that we're we're going to hopefully uh plan a little uh tour for 2022 Awesome. So, no. Oh, yeah. Like an improv a tour? Yeah. Oh. Uh, hit a few spots. Uh, we're thinking Tampa, New York, Cali, Let's Texas. Go, yeah. What's up? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. in. Kind of yeah, in. Dude, don't yeah, blink podcast. Put it on the show. Stand at the side of the stage. Let me know when you need security. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure they laugh. And then you, you fucking yeah. come out and do some music at the yeah, end. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. Or we give you your 45 seconds. Yeah, that's all I need. That's, that's it. All I need. That's it. And me, um, I could do with 10 minutes. We could do 10 minutes. You can do 10? Yeah, we could do 10. You're asking for way too much, bro. No, I'm performing because I'm performing. I'm not going to do it's jokes. Yeah, I'm going to perform different. my music. Yeah, 10 minutes is solid. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes that's in that's Kentucky. Deep. Like, they'll love that shit. We need that <laughs> only <laughs> day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go in there. That, that was you, right? That yeah, was yeah, you yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Solo D. And Solo Shout D. out to Solo D. Shout out to Solo D. and Yes, sir. My brother, it's been amazing having you on, man. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you guys for having me. Please let everybody out there know where we can find you. Yeah, dude. Mario Ramil across the board. It's Mario Ramil Comedy on Facebook. Mario Ramil on everything else. Uh, TikTok, uh, uh, yeah, it was fucking Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Facebook. <laughs> I don't got Snap, but um, <laughs> yeah, dude, just across the board, Mario Ramil. Uh, would they be able to find you in the metaverse? Dude, you know what? That shit's fucking. What do you think about that shit, Bro, dude? <laughs> life the, 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 life that, is wild right now between NFTs and Bitcoin. And it's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, don't you feel old sometimes? And they're Bro, like, I feel old and I feel and and, and I feel like I'm, I, I, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out. I'm missing out yeah, on everything. I don't like, know what the fuck. I gotta buy a stupid ass robot yeah, picture yeah, and then yeah, yeah the yeah. metaverse. I gotta buy an eighth of a Bitcoin and Ethereum. Are you stupid? Sell it in an alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you not knowing about that, like. Me not knowing a ping pong pong pili pang pang pang. No, I think that's a cultural thing. What are you guys? What were you from? Dominican. But I was born in the Bronx. What would you guys? What would you guys? What, what, what's a roll away bed? What would you? A ping pong boom to me for all. I guess that's a Cuban. Yeah. Maybe it's a yeah, Cuban yeah, it thing. A ping pong boom. And then you know Cubans make their own language. Up, that's you know? what I'm saying. Like I said, they didn't know how to open it. I said just open ping pong boom. Diablo. Si amo ping pong boom. Saca el ping pong boom ahí para exactly para el vecino aquí que va a ahí ahí tirazo. My brother, it's been amazing having you Thank on. You, yes, Thank nothing you, man. but nothing but blessing and success to you, my brother. Thank in the future. you, likewise, yes, man. sir. And uh, we can't wait to be at that comedy show in, uh, after uh, Christmas. Let's do it. Hell yeah! Is it after it. Christmas? It's before. No, it's Christmas. before oh, okay. Christmas. It's right, next week, actually. Yeah, is it sometime next well, week? Yeah, I'm doing seventeen and eighteen. I think that's that. Well, Friday we got the official Saturday. rep over here from only a day. So, what right. date is it? 16th through the 18th. Get okay. your tickets. Right. You yeah. still got some Get time. Get your tickets. Go online. Find Mario Ramil on Instagram. Yes. Follow the man. <laughs> thank and, you. And uh, thank you so much, hey, bro. Hey, continued real. success, man. Thank thank you. Hell yeah. So thank, you, bro. Bro. thank you, bro. Thank Appreciate you. you guys. Been another great episode of Don't Blink Podcast. Tune in. Subscribe. Share. Tell your friends about it. Take it to school. Uh, I don't know. Do something with us. <laughs> don't wash right? your car with it, though. Don't blink. Bye. <laughs> I think me and Two Nights got something great going on. We got some great guests coming up. It's gonna be dope. We got some dope people that, that already you know signed up to do it with us, which is great. A lot of people show us love, and uh, it's because we love them back for sure.